Ah, welcome back. I torched up my water slide sluice thing here. And it works really well. I went and got a whole bunch of magnetite from up there. And tried it out and everything's working good. I want to put in a uh, stairs, set of stairs yet on it. Just to get me up and down a little bit easier, but I want to make some better looking stairs and cobble. But today we're going to try to make some steel, and I'm going to try to get carbon out of this graphite. Now, if you look it up, it shows that putting it in the crucible will give you one half of a carbon at 2000k and for limonite I need one carbon for eight limonite to get two iron so if I put in two graphite that will be my one carbon and then I put in eight limonite that should be enough right there to make this into iron and then I'll throw in another graphite or part of a graphite to get steel out of it. Uh, this is going to take a little bit to cook here because it is iron and carbon and there is a pretty good amount of it in there. I made my first cold coke here from immersive engineering out of the coal I had sitting down here. And I finished off the lava pit I had down there, making the hammers to do this. I also managed to get enough copper to make my double copper plates that I need. So I might as well go ahead and get those made. Or waiting on this to cook. I found most of the copper that I got while getting that magnetite. I also ended up getting some more, uh, enough to make up some more bronze. So I now have 12 bronze. And for the robust, I need. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 plates, and then two long rods, which is an ingot each. So I have enough to make my first robust. I just have to melt these two, two of these bronze down to make the uh, long rod. But I need to get a sifter made first. Or I need to go do a whole lot of tunneling at bedrock to find the flawed or flawless or exquisite diamonds to make my crusher. I could go ahead and make my squeezer. Alright, the limonite has melted. Which means that we're up to 1200 degrees. Um, but the squeezer, let's see here. The squeezer is going to need triple bronze plates. That's a half an ingot. And a full ingot, so six, seven, and a half more ingots of bronze. 
and I have five because I need two of them so I got to get a little bit more before I'm going to be able to do that and if I remember correctly I got to make this before I make the crusher anyways because the crusher takes rotational energy I think let's see crusher needs KU not RU okay so I can make this first and for this I just need that and the two diamond plates and the diamond plates only come from flawless or exquisite so I can make that as soon as I get a sifting table which is basically a bunch of steel which I'm going to spend the next day making bunches and bunches and bunches of steel and then we can put together a sifting table in the next one okay we're now down to iron and we need to throw in let's do just one part of this and that should make us steel and there we go our first steel ingot now I'm gonna sit here and do that again a whole bunch and uh, get a whole bunch of steel made up but there's our first steel ingot so graphite does work if you're lucky enough to find a diamond vein early on like I did you won't need quite as much dark ashes I was thinking I was gonna need because I got all that graphite down there I can use and you can always go to oh crap that just uh, turned to iron already and, oh yeah it's got turned to iron then it turns to steel so it's not even to the wrought iron yet, it's only 1800. So I'm alright. I was thinking I was getting way up there. I want to pull that out so bad, but my health is so low right now, I wasn't paying attention. If I do, I'm probably going to die. Because it's going to be too hot. Let's see. Oh. Get back in there. Make me some steel. Alright, let's look up this sifting table because that's the first thing I need to make with steel. And we need a double steel plate. We need two long rods, fine wire, which comes from foil, which comes from a plate. And we get two of these which will give us the two of them so one plate will work for that so we need three plates two long rods and one regular rod two regular rods okay am I gonna remember all that probably not I will probably forget now, can I cut a long rod down to make a regular rod? Yes, I can. So I can just do three long rods. All right, we got steel here. Yes, we do. And I might actually have enough in there 
to where I can get this done. Oh, crap. My toes were over the mold. Daggone it. Watch your toes, stupid. Oh, I cannot believe I did that. Gotta keep your tootsies back from the molten metal dummy. Oh, my God. I cannot believe I just did that. Junior? Shut up over there. Junior's sitting over here. I can believe you did it. Yeah, I don't even want to hear it. And it's either cooled off or there's not enough left in there. Give me this. Alright, so... Let me go ahead and... Get this part done. There's my two rods. I got to cut that into bolts. And I got to do this to make my two screws. And there goes my freaking file. And we got more copper scrap. All right. Uh, where is my, there it is, this has got to go on there, so I can get my stuff back, because if you don't do that, all your stuff's going to go right inside there, and you're going to have a really pissy day. Alright, now, let's see, I need this thing and my hammer. And I actually need a table for this. So we put this here, we put this here, and we put this here. That'll make my foil. And now for the foil, I'm going to need cutters, ain't I? Yes, I am. I'm not making the tin snips because that's, that's just craziness right there. We're going to make these so... Uh, I'm probably going to make them out of iron. So I'm going to have to make three iron plates, two rods, and another screw. Which means I'm going to have to make another file. Because, well, you know, I just broke mine. So there's the start of what we need. For that, uh, let's get this off of here. And thank goodness I got it back, so I don't end up with a bunch of crap in my crucible. So, I got the start of what I need. I got my screws. And I got some steel made. Just got to make some more. Let's throw you up there. Um, I got two out of here, so let's go ahead and throw them back in there. And give you one of these. That should be enough, right? Sure. Oh, come on, just light already. And I think I'm going to leave you guys with a quick, short one today. Um, I made my first steal. Got everything figured out for my sifting table. Um, I'll go ahead and get the wire cutters made that I need. And I'll have to make a screwdriver. I'll get all the stuff to make them. Get all the steel poured that I need. And I will probably go ahead and... Let me see. Oven... Go ahead and get all of this steel poured and the steel for the steel burning box because trying to talk and remember these numbers is going to be a pain in the butt. Um, I'm probably going to end up making a uh, um, clipboard from BiblioCraft. So I can keep track of the numbers because 
I have a hard enough time trying to keep a hold of the numbers in my head when I'm not talking. Trying to talk and remember I'm just going to make it even more impossible. So I'm probably going to make that and uh, I'll show you guys what I got figured out for all the numbers of what I needed. Get that all done and we'll get the oven, the burning box, and the sifting table made probably tomorrow. So I will see you guys later. Have a good one. If you have any questions, let me know. And have a good one.